He's got his spies. He's shutting me down. Now, I put a light in my face because I think the way I had the lighting before very made it look like I've got someone with me. And that's because there's a, a light behind me, I think. But, um, you know, there's more to say, and it's just my last video is so gappy. Um, I'm kind of being shut down. So I need to, um, I need to guard against that. So just before I watched the first AJ Miller video, I had a talk booked, and this talk was booked for the 23rd of September. And I had done all this stuff about, um, well, you can see the talk. So the first half of the talk was all the stuff I'd come up with before I'd even seen a A.J. Miller or even heard of him. And it was about how important the belief system is and how that basically creates your, uh, your universe, your understanding of everything is all sitting on your belief system. And so then just before I went on holiday, I, I was just searching the internet and I searched, you know, for someone claiming to be Jesus or something. Obviously, it was on my mind and I was thinking about, you know, is there anyone here yet sort of claiming? Because I had made a video called Am I Jesus with, you know, question mark and the, the answer being no. So... So, I could just, you know, say it that, um, I even, as soon as I'm coming to say it, there's like something stopping me from saying it. Um, so at that point where I was, I was coming up to this quite important point, that's when I got directed to AJ Miller's videos. and thought it was brilliant, you know, at the time. Thought it was, wow, told all my friends, Jesus is back and isn't it great? And, um, you know, in a way at the time it was like a weight off my mind. But it didn't last long, I mean, because of watching his videos, I thought, decided, oh, I'm gonna, it's been a, I've been smoking cannabis for probably three years non-stop, maybe longer. Time I gave it a bit of a break. And I did. I got my dreams back and that was interesting. You know, and all of this partly was AJ Miller. But then, what wasn't AJ Miller is that <laughs> it's my... My dad died on September the 10th. I mean, he was dying anyway. It was release, really. Uh, suffering from the treatments of cancer. And um, his funeral was on the 22nd of September, 2014. And my talk was, you know, been booked. It was on the 23rd of September. And um, so on my dad's funeral, you know, lots of People had come, you know, people hadn't seen in a long time and it became a very joyous occasion. Partly for me as well, some sort of release. Me and my dad had kind of always been opposed, posing in a sense. I mean, you know, my birthday is January the 9th, his July the 9th. Exactly six months apart, makes sense. But then, um, my cousin was Erin, she had some weed, 
So I hadn't smoked for two weeks. And I had a puff on the spliff. And then a bit later on in the evening, I think I'd had another one, another puff. And I was just in the lounge and suddenly this m massive feeling came over me. Just awesome. Like, everything was a bit green and it was just, and I sort of looked, I didn't look around, I don't think, but I tried to think, is everyone feeling this? It was one of those. It was just like, and my brother was in front of me, and so I could tell that he, you know, he wasn't like, wow, can you feel this too, sort of thing. And I just hugged him and held on to him, and I was sort of crying a bit with joy, and he probably just thought I was being emotional because my dad, you know, but no, it was this, wow, it was this, and I look back on that now as a born again moment. And I guess I have, especially at the time, you know, I put a lot of that thanks to AJ Miller and his, and his teachings. And it was. I mean, it, for that, at that point, I probably wouldn't have, given up smoking cannabis at that point, so wouldn't have had the gap of not smoking cannabis, then having a bit of cannabis and going whew, straight up. And the way I explained it was now that I had the truth. See, before, when I'd got sort of strong feelings like that, there was this sort of ceiling. And what broke the ceiling was trusting that I mean, God, you know, and God is there, and having that stronger belief and faith in God. But I probably would have got there anyway. And about this talk, so I then next day do this talk. Now, there weren't exactly a lot of people there, but um, there are two people who bought tickets, they were my old neighbours. <laughs> but so they just seen it in the paper, because it was advertised in the paper. And I bought five tickets, <laughs> but could only get two people to come. My mum and my younger brother. And um, and the two, the guy there who owned the building and the woman who was sort of an events organiser that I'd been speaking to setting this up. So I did the talk, and it was quite good, like, you know, two hour talk, it's on YouTube. So the first half was my stuff and the second half was then going on to AJ Miller. And I made the point that I knew something was gonna happen that was gonna, you know, blow my mind or whatever and lo and behold it did and it's this AJ Miller guy and and at the end the woman said, you know, should we said to the guy, you know, should we you know, Stephen could come to our Yes, because they do this yes campaign thing, you know, events or whatever, and people sit and listen to a talk, a speaker or something. So she was like, you know, should we get him on the yes thing, a yes campaign? And he was like, uh, yeah, you know. And I knew it was the AJ Miller thing. So if I hadn't have seen AJ Miller, Maybe I wouldn't have had the massive euphoria moment on my dad's funeral. Possibly wouldn't have had it then. But maybe my talk would have been better. And just, you know, from me. And maybe would have gone on the Yes campaign, did another talk. And it led to another talk, you know. How that could have been. So AJ Miller, Antichrist, trying to steal my fire. But anyway, it won't work, will it? Of course, because God's plan will have foreseen all of this. So, it's like Superman's turned bad, you know, Yeshua. I do think he was Yeshua still. So I know I said in the last video, probably wasn't, but I do still think he was. And maybe it's some sort of kickback, throwback, in a sense, some sort of, you know, the first will be last sort of thing. And maybe this refers, in a sense, in a bit to 
some scripture saying, you know, and he was the brightest angel and now he's the lowest in a sense. And, you know, is he trying to thwart what God has planned? Perhaps, you know, unknowingly, just as a result of whatever he's gone through in his life. But it is interesting. So, I mean, I carried on with this experiment, going without cannabis for two weeks and then smoking it again. As people who've watched my YouTube for a long time will have heard already. And it was probably... It was either the next time or the time after. So when I did this, big emotions would hit me. And that was weird. Is it... Why did it flash? Oh, trying to prevent me again. So yeah, either the... So gone two weeks, or I was probably getting down to about 10, 11 days, I think. And I had this real strong feeling, just, so again, like the born again moment that I had, it was just like so overwhelming and it was just like you. And it made me feel like, well, I'm the one. And because of the AJ Miller again, I was like, no, you know, I've been there. It's not. And then in about February time, so quite a few months later, 2015, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I got that feeling again like that I was the one. And then I started this job in March, end of March helping people with dis disabilities, learning difficulties. And I I was getting ill, you know, probably the contact of the poo. But I was really ill. And I was, I'd gone to lay down in the, well, I was doing a sleep. I was doing a sleep. And I can't remember yeah, I think it was towards the end of my shift. I can't remember. I'd gone in there, maybe got, just gone in there to lie down for a bit. And then I just thought, I am the one. And I started just to get better. I mean, it could, you know, look back on it, it could have been coincidence, but it was just like feeling so shit, feeling like I'm going to die, just deep inside. And then just saying to myself, I am the one. So, and then just feeling instantly better. So then I finished my shift, went home, had a spliff, thinking about what I thought to myself, and then a load of things come to my mind that, the seance thing I went to in March and she was like, well, you know who you are, you should know who you are then. And yeah, just the feeling, I let it come, I embraced the feeling. Okay, I'm the one. That was July the 8th, 2015. And I, yeah, so and I guess I have been in this battle with AJ Miller all this time because you know you see from the videos I've made about him and just sort of yeah I agree with this this and this but not this like just thinking it's you know how important the truth is and that's something he says as well so it's just like 
you know, got to get the truth right, but there's no, he doesn't allow anyone to challenge him whatsoever. You know, and that's not really what you'd expect from someone who's supposed to be all loving. Okay, fair enough, probably gets a lot, a lot of people telling him what to do and stuff, but, you know, there's just no way of um, getting any sort of, yeah, it just doesn't seem all that loving, really. I'm not going to allow anyone to question you, but you coming out and saying this is the truth, even though you say you can't do it yourself, and, you know, he's the one who sort of gives this promise, so oh, you'll, you'll, stay the age of 25 forever, oh yeah, it's possible, it maybe is possible, you know, but in a sense is that, you know, when are we supposed to stay young on earth for more than a hundred years, or, you know, is it, is it not a, a thing that there's, that, you know, you've got this life, there's a beginning and an end, you know there's an end. You know, everybody ages, you, you can't help but age. Your head shrinks and stuff like that, and, you know, you look back on yourself a year ago, you look a bit different, you look a bit older. Otherwise, you wouldn't have any reason to like your former self. So is this like the promise, you know, this is the come and do it this way, it's, it's almost like doesn't trust God's way which he claims to have and calls himself God. And I think, you know, this pain so I've been dealing with pain, yeah, and, you know, but it, the pain is exactly the same as it was two years ago. And I can, the easiest way now for me to, if the pain starts coming, I see it as actually as food. <laughs> um... I can feel that one love in my heart which we are all part of and then I'm not feeling the pain anymore the pain is the is the willingness to like remain in your physical body so AJ Miller's using the physical body as your as the temptation. Oh, you can be younger and da 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 and you can... It doesn't matter. You've got an eternal soul. You know, the body is, is just a loner. And he himself has aged considerably over the last five years, five, se seven years, say. I mean, seven years is a long time you would age. But if you know... If you look back at his videos, 2010, 11, 9, 10, he looks so young for someone who's in their mid 40s, really young, really well. So, for a good few years, he's aged quite a bit. But I don't think you can stop aging, you can't stop it. It's not meant to be stopped. So, okay, maybe it is possible to live a thousand years. Give it a go. Maybe you get to a certain age and start to rejuvenate. I heard 120, you've gone bold and you live past 120. You start getting thick black hairs growing out the top of your head. That would be quite weird. <laughs> Probably wouldn't look that lovely I mean we breathe in oxygen right and we breathe out carbon dioxide 
we bring that carbon. I, th I was thinking about that earlier. Oh. I mean, other contenders for the Antichrist. You know, Trump. Mabus. As Nostradamus said, it was Mabus. Um, and he's a ex, I think he's an ex-admiral now of the US Navy. So I don't think he can do any harm anymore. Tony Blair, that's who I always thought he was. But maybe, you know, AJ Miller has, you know, you would look at him, things got powers, like, okay, he's got a few thousand subscribers on YouTube, but he does claim to have, you know, a lot of spirit friends. Yeah, yeah, it's a weird one. It's definitely a weird one. So should you see the pain as yours? I mean, it's yours to deal with. Have I got to forgive AJ for a lot of things? Or have I got to repent for a lot of things? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Is the pain there to remind me that I'm not perfected? Maybe. The pain comes from, the only pain I'm experiencing really just comes from sitting absolutely still. I mean, even if I sit on the pillow, pain still eventually comes. I'm actually beginning to prefer sitting on a hard surface. I find the... when I decide to stop, sometimes the pain's getting too strong, or really more often these days I'm doing something with the pain, but then another wave comes, so I think I'll come up to another one. But, yeah, it comes from remaining still, whether I'm on a pillow or sitting on the floor. In the chair, don't really seem to get it, and I, I do prefer being on the floor. There's something about it. I like it. So I feel this pain now. It's like spiky, hot. Pain in my feet. You know, so the whole thing is about giving up the body, so not worrying. Not worrying that that's going to cause any damage or that it's anything bad. It's overcoming that. As everyone keeps saying, the carnal, the flesh, the carbon. 666 Blood Moon tomorrow We won't see it in the UK It'll happen in the daytime I think at the 31st So yeah, A bit more than tomorrow but the fact that it's a blue moon doesn't impress me that much. I mean, we really should have 13 28-day months in the year. That would add up to 364 days. You could just have a day off, can you? A spare day. And on a leap year, two spare days. I don't need to give them a day. I mean, that would make accounting so much more easy, wouldn't it? Do you know what I mean? Four weeks fit in a month. The moon cycles would be
pretty repetitive. They would shave off slightly, but you'd you'd have much more an idea when the moon where the moon was, which would help for knowing your moods. Perhaps knowing when to plant seeds. Uh, don't know about that personally. I haven't had a lot of success with planting seeds. <laughs> And that's my green eyes. But well, you know, see if this changes things. See if this revelation I've had maybe I'll be feeling awful and I'll make another video going, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, sorry, AJ. <laughs> or I might not. But I'll put some sort of update. So I'm just going to. Before I turn this off, I just want to think oh, I've got this pain, I just want to do it. The way I get the one love, infinite love in my heart, is I just start thinking about existence and millions and billions of universes out there, and probably all, may all be. You know, same stage. Check in with mum and dad, God, Jesus. Because they're on the branch too. So it's like when, the, when it says like the Christ is the right hand side of man and it's talking about this one love. Or the right hand side of God, I mean. There's one loves the right hand side of God. So more the other way around, really. It's like. It's the love which has always existed as far as we know. Well. Each day at a time, living the now. <laughs>